Good morning, Dobbins, class of 2025. I am Dr. Damon, the proud principal here at Morrell Dobbins CTE High School. And we are all here, my team of amazing administrators and Good teachers. Good morning, here to Dobbins, class to of you and your family. Next slide, please. So to make this a little fun, what we have is a Mustang Roundup news. It's gonna be full of exciting prizes and things for you to win at the end. So we are asking each and every one of you to make sure that you submit and you engage in this process, make sure that you fill out the competition trivia form. It is a Google form before 234 so that you can win amazing prizes. At this time, I am gonna turn it over to our amazing Academy lead for the ninth grade class, which will be your administrator when you come in. It's the one and only Miss Thompson. Good morning, class of 2025. I am your assistant principal, Ms. Thompson, and I'm also a proud alumni. As new high school students and Mustangs, your goal is to become college and career ready. So I wanted to take this time to encourage you to get ready and to be ready, because I would like for you to take advantage of all the opportunities Dobbins has to offer you. You will have a team to support you, so don't be worried. And all we ask is that you will take the lead. So enjoy, make sure you gather all your information. If you have questions, please drop them in the chat and make sure by the end of the day at 2.34 p.m. today that you will submit your trivia Google form. See you later. Hi, everybody. You can you can go ahead, Daniels, to the next slide. I am going to go over some of the differences between uh, middle school and high school so that you are aware. I think the first being the bell schedule and attendance. Our bell schedule is from 7.30 to 2.34 p.m., and you will be accountable for all of the minutes in between there. Um, you will have seven classes, a lunch, and an advisory to attend throughout the day. So you do have a full day. Um, attendance is super important in high school, not only because it is correlated with your grades being good, but also because you're gonna be earning credits in academics and also CTE hours so that you can graduate with the certificate for the program that you will be attending in grades 10 through 12. Um, I will go over the graduation and promotion requirements with you. Go ahead, Harris. You can click for it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, when you get to Dobbins, I know that each of you selected a CTE program already when you applied. The first thing that you will concentrate on your first year will actually be your academics. Um, we do this in order to give you a second chance to look at the program, see them in action. You'll get another chance to reevaluate what program you want to go to in December and also to get the bulk of your academic credits out of the way. Because starting in 10th grade, you will be in your CTE programs for probably close to half of the day, either in the morning or the afternoon, and the other half is your academics. However, the state of Pennsylvania does require a certain set of academics for you to actually graduate with a high school diploma, which include English, math, social studies, science, health and phys ed, art and music, and also the completion of a senior project, which you will do through your CTE program. You can go forward one. One of the biggest difference is that you actually have to earn those credits. So in middle school, you had classes that would be considered specials. In high school, they're not. They're actually a graduation requirement and you need to earn credits to get to the next grade. Um, so every class on your roster, the entire four years that you're with us will actually be a graduation requirement um, set forth by the state of Pennsylvania. So you cannot um, minimize any class on your roster that includes health and phys ed, arts, humanities, or any other class that you have that you may consider to have not been important before is extremely important now. Um, so you will actually need to earn each of those credits in order to move forward in grades. 
and then you can go forward one more time. Uh, the other thing that's going to be super important, which is probably less important now that we've been through an entire year of pandemic learning, is that you will need to know your school ID number and you will know how, need to know how to get into your portal, which I would hope everybody actually does now. Um, not only because that's where you will see your grades, but that's where you're going to see your schedule and your classes. Um, there's no, we're not going to be handing you a piece of paper. You'll need to go on there. You need to get to your schedule and you're going to need to follow that. Um, it's your link to everything. You can monitor your attendance, which I'm sure you have um, learned through your middle school pandemic experience and your grades. It's something also that you can use to actually track your graduation progress so that as you're passing those classes, they're gonna turn green on your side and you'll know that if you failed a class, it's gonna show you how far behind you could become um, if you don't recover those credits to graduate. So it's a very important tool to make sure that you know and please know your passwords and the answers to your secret questions for your passwords. Um, because if you lose either of those things, you will not be able to actually get to your classes correctly. Good morning, Mustangs. I'm Mrs. Stidman, ninth grade environmental science teacher. What we're gonna do right now is a building tour. Since none of you've been to the school before, we felt like this was a very important thing to show you all. I hope you enjoy it. T.E. High School. Hi, this is Dr. Damon, proud principal at Morrell Dobbin CTE High School. I'd like to take you on a tour of what school is going to be like. First off, before I do that, let me give you an opportunity to show you that this is the outside, the main entrance, where students will actually enter the building. All students will come in this way and they exit out. As you look down towards 21st Street, you will find that we have a bus stop for the 54 eastbound students can go out that door. And then over on the 22nd Street entrance, there is the 48 bus stop. You can see the bus right there and there's an exit that way. As you come into the building, we have a big vestibule where students can take a moment to get themselves together Right now, you see that we have a screening station for anyone comes in. They have to answer a few questions about their health. Inside is our large main hallway and student intake area. You will notice that we have a scan machine. Normally, during the school year, we have a body scan in which students can come in and take the things through the scan machine. Now you'll see this is our sixth floor cafeteria. We have a full service cafeteria that serves hot food and cold food. Students can sit on either the center wing side or they can sit on the west side. Please notice that it is very spacious and it holds up to about 300 students at a time. Here is one of our small unscheduled classrooms. We have many spaces like this where we can just pull a small group of students to the side and give them smaller group instruction. Here you'll notice this is another special education room. Because we follow all guidelines from the federal government and Department of Education, we like to ensure that our special education students and students with all types of disabilities are serviced according to their civil rights. As we move on, I ask you to join us as you see our large and spacious ninth grade classroom. The ninth grade students are housed all on the sixth floor, which is also where the cafeteria is. Classrooms have borders, they have bulletin boards, they have smart technology and are well lit. 
also on our sixth floor, please note the large counselors and social emotional room. Here we have our counselor ready to work with any student who's having a tough time in their transition to high school or if they just need someone to talk to. In the back of her room, you'll notice she has a private section by that doorway where she can have individual counseling sessions. Just to give you an idea of what some of the other classrooms on the other floors look like, here we have a 10th grade classroom, very much like uh, the other classrooms, where we have the bulletin boards, the whiteboards, smart technology, it's well lit. Many of our classrooms have air condition. And you'll notice also that they are color coordinated. Each classroom has a phone, and teachers are able to communicate with main office as needed. Here, in similar fashion, you will notice that we have an 11th grade classroom. Our 10th and 11th grade students are housed on the fifth floor. This way, the students can engage in all of their academic classrooms and they can talk to their teachers as needed. Here is what a 12th grade classroom looks like. You might notice a little, it's a little different. And by the time our students that are currently ninth grade get to 12th grade, it may look just a little different then too, because we try to upgrade as needed. Many of our 12th graders are housed on the second floor, because on the second floor, we have their counselor, which you will see the, her office later. And we also have a senior lounge and a senior research center. Now you're looking at our science lab, very much like the 12th grade classroom, except where you notice the counters and the science lab centers, the movable tables, and in the back, you'll notice a ventilation hood that they can do different processes in, in the science experience world. The teacher has a specially designed desk and also a um, smart board. Now we'll take you through our CTE programs. This one is one of our new programs, Biomedical Technology. Please note in this program, this is where our students learn some of the science lab experiences and techniques. Maybe we will find someone to find a cure to cancer in this lab. Through this program, our students have internships and are mentored by Temple University Medical School students. We're very, very proud of this program that leads into entry-level positions in the world of science, technology, and medicine. Here we have another one of our new programs. This is digital media. Please note we have the sound booth. We have a green wall. Students in this, in this classroom go into the world of digital media. Students have their own television station and can then move on to create digital films and broadcast live streaming shows. Also as part of this program, they have the digital media classroom. Here is where the hard work begins. The students have to identify, research, and get ready to lay out what it is they're going to actually present in the live screen. So this is their digital media classroom. And please note the state of the art technology, the movable smart board, the desk can be moved around for collaboration. As we move in that same area, we have our art classroom. What you can't see in the art classroom is that we have a sculpting kiln. But please note the spacious area and some of the artwork that lends itself to creativity and innovation. Also note that the teacher in this classroom also has a smart board and bulletin boards. And in the very near future, when we can come together again, we look to having a, a brand new art show. Now, 
please journey with us as we go on to the graphics lab. I might also tell you while we're here in this area that this fourth floor is considered our science and technology floor. Now, as you look into the graphics lab, very much similar, but not yet alike, the digital media, because this is more so print media with graphic design. Notice all of the posters. Notice how they have the work lab stations, the very large printer layout. As we also move to right next door, you will see computer networking. This class is where students of computer science, network design, and in this field, individuals become network administrators, help desk technicians. Here we have a business classroom. Students in this class learn the latest and greatest in business technologies. They learn financial planning, they learn uh, marketing, real estate, stocks, anything you need as well as technology to run and operate a business. Maybe we'll have our next CEO here. And right down the hall from business, we have sports, marketing, and management. Here, we find that many of our young people just want to be a part of the athletic world. While everyone cannot be an athlete, you certainly can be a sports marketing manager, agent, and any of the above. Let's travel down now to the third floor. We call this our service, industry service program. This is cosmetology where our students earn 1,250 hours. They practice on the state-of-the-art modernized salon where you will see a desk, you'll see their stations, and their foot pedicure. Let's walk down the hall now to our barbering lab. Here you will see the greatest and latest barbering chair, chairs, shampoo area, styling stations. It's well lit. And over towards the back, you will see they even have a shaving area to learn shaving. This floor, again, is our barbering, cosmetology, and culinary arts. Journey with me as we go down to the culinary arts program. Again, third floor is our service area because you will have cosmetology, barbering, and culinary. So now welcome to the Flame and Steel. This is our in-house student-run restaurant. As we journey back, you will now see, just like an industry restaurant, the students get an opportunity to learn how to cook on modern kitchen industry ware. Please note that this is not for the cafeteria, this is specially designed for our high school students to learn how to work in the front of the house as well as the back of the house in an industry of hospitality, restaurant, and tourism. Please pardon the appearance because we are closed down now during COVID, but we just wanted to give you an idea of what this looks like. Now, as we move back, you will notice this is still culinary, but it is now part of the baking area. So you should know in our culinary department, our students learn the best of culinary arts, restaurant practices, as well as baking. We have the latest ovens and, and technology. We have hard hardware and refrigerators. Students learn cake decorating and baking at its finest. Now let me take you down to the senior floor. This is our library slash senior research center. Again, please notice we have the latest technology. We have the tables. We have a well-lit student lab. We have a private area. This is also where we have many of our college recruiters come in and talk to our students. On any given school year, our students will take 
a monthly college tour, and then will be met by college recruiters. Now on this same floor, you will see our upper level academic counselor's office. Here is where our students begin the planning process for their post-secondary experience. This, we have two counselors, one for the upper grades and one for the lower grades. In the senior uh, counseling suite, this is where she does her work. Also note, Dobbins has two gymnasiums. We have the Dawn Stanley, Staley Girls Gymnasium, outfitted with new backboards and new cushions. We also have an additional computer lab. As if we don't have enough technology in the classroom, we thought it only fitting to just have an additional technology lab just in case teachers wanted to bring their students in. Also on the second floor, let me show you our fashion department. The only fashion department of its kind located right here in the School District of Philadelphia, specifically Morrell Dobbins CTE High School. And this program is where our students learn the art of pattern making, designing, and production of their very own concepts, ideas, to full production of an outfit. Our students have gone on and studied at Drexel University, Howard University, and many other colleges and universities that specialize in the art and design of construction. We're also under negotiations working with urban outfitters so that our students get opportunities for internship. Now look at this. Join me as we walk through the Building Property Maintenance Program. Here our students learn all the techniques rel related to brick laying, carpentry, electrical, plumbing, anything they need to maintain a property. It can be a private property, it can be an industrial property. This is our second gym called the boys gym. Notice again, we have brand new bleachers, electric bleachers that fold up and move out. We also have new basketball backboards here. Also what we have, and we're so very proud of, is we've got a new time clock. Downstairs, we also have locker rooms for the girls and boys gym. This is our beautiful, very large auditorium. Here in our auditorium, you notice we have the movable stage. That's so that our fashion department can rip the runway. Also notice our balcony so that we can hold plenty of guests when we have our shows. Brand new state-of-the-art sound system also. Here is another one of our small meeting and classroom spaces. When we have guest speakers, and other needs to have young people and adults come together, this is another area where we can bring people together. Parents, you should know, this is also where we hold our very own SAC meeting. So we join, ask you to join us. Now, let me walk you through our music production program. Some students in ninth grade get an opportunity to take a music class, but what every student has the opportunity to do is select music production as a new program to Dobbins. Here in this program, our students learn the art of instruments through synthesized technology. They also learn how to play instruments. But if you look in here, our students have a state-of-the-art recording studio. So what that means is if you go inside with me, You'll notice that they have everything they need to actually produce music. They can record it on the other side and have a full band on the outside coming together to create digital music at its finest. But that's not it. We also have on the other side of the hall as part of the music production program, instruments, synthesizers and small mini boards where at their own desk students learn the art 
of creating music through digital machines and recording their voiceovers through the process. We're so very, very excited and proud of that program. But that's not it. As part of our major renovation, look at our state-of-the-art weight room. So for our athletes and those students who want to uh, stay in health, we have a state-of-the-art physical weight room. This is primarily used by the football team and the basketball team, but we do have our health and phys ed teachers here to help us navigate how to use these. As always, we are so proud of our students and their achievements, and we're thankful for our Building Property Maintenance Program who have put together these showcases. This is how we showcase the work of our students. Morell Dobbins, CTE High School, such a great place to learn and grow. And what we like to do is show off our students' accomplishments. There's not much in the cases now, but you wait until we get back to school. We will fill those cases up with your work, with the work of your children, your trophies, your children's trophies. Now join us, if you will, as we go into our nursing station. Unfortunately, there are times when some of our children get sick. We do have a beautiful nurses station with the office and a waiting room. We also have small private mini rooms so that if a student wants a little privacy, they can go in and have a moment to either recruit, regroup, and get themselves together. We also have a little mini counseling session in some of the rooms because there are times when young people need to talk. Also, in our health suite, we do have a private bathroom right outside the waiting room. That was an amazing tour. I hope everybody had as much fun watching it as I did. Now we're going to see a video put together by our amazing robotics um, teacher, Mr. Cunningham, who is in the chat. If you want to give him a shout out, a hey, or ask questions, feel free. But he's going to send us on a tour from a different vantage point. Enjoy. He's having a ball. And you know, they asked me to get on the mic and they asked me, can I kick it? Words. Yes, can. can I kick it? Yes, It. To all the people who can quest like a tribe does Before this, did you really know what I was? Comprehend to the track force, why? Cause getting mentions on the tip of the vibe buzz Rock and roll to the beat of the funk fuzz Wipe your feet really good on the rhythm rug If you feel the urge to freak, do the jitterbug Come and spread your arms if you really need a hug Afrocentric living is a big shrug A life filled with the track That's what I does A lower plateau is what we're above If you diss us, we won't even think of We'll nip of the dog and give a big shove This rhythm really fits like a snug glove Like a box of positives, it's a plus love As the trial flies high like a dove
kick it? Yes, you can. Can I 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 kick it? Yes, you can. Well, I'm born. Can I kick it? To my tribe that flows in layers. Right now, Fife is a point sayer. At times, I'm a studio conveyor. Mr. Dinkins, would you please be my mayor? You'll be doing us a really big favor. Boy, this track really has a lot of flavor. When it comes to Rhythm's Quest, is your savior. Follow us for the funky behavior. Make a note on the rhythm we gave you. Feel free, drop your pants, check your hair. Yeah. Do you like the garments that we wear? I instruct you to be the obeyer. A rhythm recipe that you'll savor. Doesn't matter if you're minor or major. Yes, the tribe of the game with a player. As you inhale like a breath of fresh air. Good morning, class of 20. I'm sorry. Good morning, class of 2025. So today I just wanted to say welcome to Dobbins number one and introduce myself. My name is Mrs. Russell. I am the climate manager. Um, uh, we, I am part of a team called the Care Team, and we are here to help you navigate through this thing called life and your four years of high school. You will be seeing me um, and my team, and we will be doing a lot of things in social, emotional behavior, things to just help you get through your, not only your school day, but your freshman year. So um, we do a lot of things in the classroom with the students, um, student conduct, uh, how to enter and exit in the building. You come through the front door, you exit from the front door. We do have a lot of different um, doors around the school, but just to let you know, you are only able to enter and exit through the front door. And during those times would be during the morning through um, morning entrance and then at 234. Again, you are only allowed to enter in the front door, exit through the front door, and it's only in the mornings and at 234. There'll be no going out to lunch. There'll be no going to the stores. There's none of those things during the school day. Everything you need is inside of the building. We also will be going over some rules for hallway transitioning. You'll have um, time for you to go from class to class. During that time, we're asking that that is when you use the bathrooms. But due to COVID, you'll be escorted back and forth into the bathrooms from your teacher. And then you'll have a caring adult in the hallways waiting for you as well. A lot of our lunchroom, you'll see the lunchroom was located on the sixth floor. Um, we have lunch throughout the day, which means that you are only able to go to lunch during your assigned lunch period. And again, that is in our lunchroom, not at McDonald's, not at the corner stores. You are not able to leave the building. So again, you'll hear um, from the rest of the care team throughout this presentation. And I would just like to thank you for joining, but also welcome you to Dobbins. Next slide. Good morning, class of 2025. I'm Ms. Hickson, and I will be your counselor for the ninth and the 10th grade. Um, as you see, you see my email here if you need to reach 
out to me. It's khickson at fellasd.org. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next school year. So let's talk about some of the things that we expect you uh, to do when you enter Dobbins. So one of the first things, uh, Ms. Monticelli already mentioned about your ID. It's very important that you know your ID number. If for some reason you do not remember it, I will be able to assist you to reset your password, but I will not be able to do that until we get into the school year next um, September. So please make every effort to remember your um, ID number and your password. Also, Ms. Monticelli mentioned about being on track for graduation. You are on track for graduation when you pass every class, when you receive it the first time. And you work towards graduation by earning credits. And every class has a credit value assigned to it. And it's generally somewhere between a half of a credit to three credits. And as you move up in the grades, your CTE program is the shop that where you will earn those credits. So make sure that you stay on track by passing your classes the very first time that you get them. Transpasses. Transpasses are distributed to those students who live one and a half miles away from the school and that will be determined by the address that is on file in your student account. The school district will automatically make you eligible or you will be designated as eligible by the school district based on your address. Next, um, social emotional issues. Um, we know these last 18 months has been a trying time for all of us. And so as you're getting ready to enroll in high school, you may be feeling a little nervous, uncertain, even feeling disconnected because you have been away from school for such a long time. You can talk with me, Ms. Hickson, or Ms. Shamar, who is our school social worker. Ms. Shamar's office is located on the fifth floor in room 520A but you can get all that information. Again, you can reach out to me, um, Ms. Hickson, and I can give that to you. And also part of what I do is that I start to work with you about your career path and what you will do after high school, because these four years will go by very quickly. So when you come in as a ninth grader, we need to start having that conversation about what it is that you want to do when you graduate and create a plan with some goals so that you know what it is that you're working towards. Now that may be you want to go to work right after high school. You may want to go to college or trade school, or you may be interested in the military. It doesn't really matter what you want to do. You just need to have a plan. And I'm here to help you develop that plan so that you can be the very best, the very best person that you could be a productive and moving forward adult. So if you need to reach out to me, again, my email, khickson at fellasd.org. I look forward to seeing you real soon. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Really quickly, I just wanted to introduce myself again. Ms. Hickson did such a good job of telling everybody who I was. Again, my name is Shamar Featherson. I am the social worker here at Dobbins High School. And my job is really to partner with every faculty member to support you and ensure that you have a really, really good educational experience. So that means everything from resources all the way up to and including therapy. So please feel free to reach out to us if you are feeling overwhelmed, if you need a trusted adult to talk to, and if you need help just getting through the school year, that's what we're here to do, support you. Please feel free to reach out to us. Again, we're looking forward to meeting you and welcoming you to a new school year. Bye.
Now we're going to introduce you to some of our some of the classes that you'll be taking as freshmen. And we're going to start with health and PE. Coach and the baseball coach. I can't wait to see you guys in the fall. Oh! Hey guys, I'm Mr. Preston. I teach health and phys ed. I can't wait to see you. Hey guys, Coach Dan here. Y'all can see you and boy basketball coach. Look forward to seeing you in the fall. Hey guys, how's hey, everyone up? doing? Welcome. Welcome to the Diamonds Fitness Center. This is a PE stand. Welcome. Hey guys, so here down in the fitness center where we bring our classes for different workouts, this is one of the first tests that we do. This is the bench test. We have Mr. Presley on the bench, Mr. Stanton spotting, because you always need a spotter when benching. And we're gonna let him go to it. We expect you guys to be able to get on this, and push a little weight. Right, here we go. The goal is endurance. Always encourage your classmates. Let's go, Mr. Presley. Welcome, guys. So, right here we have endurance training, where we have a Amongst a lot of different things, we have the row machines. Over here, if you look right here, we got ellipticals, treadmills, and of course, our regular treadmill that you'll be working on, okay? Now, as you see right here with the gentlemen that we're working on, we're working on speed and time for our endurance. This will be a test that you will have to do and complete. All right, good form, guys. Good, get your back into it. And good. Cardio respiratory endurance is one of the components you'll learn here in PD. Uh, a couple of different exercises that we're gonna do are first the dips, demonstrated by Coach Shapir. Again, legs crossed behind you, using his upper body, strengthening his muscular strength and his muscular endurance. All right, the second part of our muscular endurance test is the pull-ups. Shown here by Mr. Presley. He's gonna go unassisted, get up to a 90 degree angle, come back down, knees and foot, feet are bent, and go all the way up the chin to the bar, and do the best he can. For those of you that might struggle with that, we have this assisted portion here, which we can put some weight onto. This is also a great way to test your endurance. Goes on, gives you that weight down, and that assistance up. So there's all different ways to do your tests that work for everyone. And we're here to just self-improve and always continue doing that and assist it for the dips as well. Go. All right, guys, so one of the activities we like to do in team sports and PE is volleyball. Great way to do that is to have a net. basically just to bump, set, around in a circle. Good way to stay straight for the distance and work on your skill. coordination is a big part of soccer. This is a great way for conditioning, also for building teamwork and leadership in our team education class. Right. Yeah. Great team sport we love here at Diamonds, and we pride our basketball team is running some basketball. So here, three of us will do a little drill. Hope you guys like it.
Hey guys, Coach Shapir, Coach Presley, Coach Dan. So here we are outside at the park next door to Dobbins, which is right there. This is where we bring you guys for PE to do our mile test run, get some fresh air and enjoy the outside. We can't wait to see you guys in the fall. Until then, we're out of here. Let's go. Not that I'm biased or anything, but this is probably the best part because it's the science department and I teach environmental science. So I hope you enjoy. Woo! Woo! You will be mine. You will. You will. Even if it's somebody else's. Gonna fall. Hello and welcome to the science department at Mural Dobbins CTE. In this presentation, you will learn about the science classes you will be taking at Dobbins and the teachers who teach them. I hope you enjoy it. Here at Dobbins, we offer three years of science education. As ninth graders, you'll be taking environmental science, next year in 10th grade, biology, and after that, chemistry as 11th graders. Hi, I'm Mrs. Stidman Frazier. I am a ninth grade environmental science teacher. I hail from St. Louis, Missouri, where I taught for 13 years. And now I am teaching at Dobbins in year 16 of education. Mr. Perez is the other environmental science teacher. He's been teaching for approximately 13 years and we both look forward to meeting you all. In environmental science, um, we learn about pretty much every science it encompasses. Chemistry, biology, physics, geology. It also encompasses sociology, economics, and history. Um, in this class, you will do lab activities where you will work with your friends. And at Dobbins, we like to have a little bit of fun. As you can see, Mr. Perez and Mr. Daniels up here um, with their costumes on for Spirit Week or Halloween. One of the two, but both times fun was, a lot of fun was had. Hi everyone, I'm Ms. Rodriguez. I'm one of the biology teachers. Hi everybody, my name is Ms. Ronick. I'm another biology teacher. Um, I'm finishing up my fifth year at Dobbins and really excited to meet you guys next year. And my name is Mr. Cunningham. Um, I've been teaching at Dobbins for over 20 years, believe it or not, and I can't wait to meet so all of you So what guys. is biology? What are we going to be talking about when you're in 10th grade and you're taking biology? So biology is the study of living things, so that's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about cells, we're going to be talking about DNA, we're going to be talking about how different living things interact with each other. We're going to be talking about how living things evolve. Um, we do hands-on activities, we do labs, we use microscopes, um, we try to make it get exciting for you guys. And so some of what you learn will be things that we build on from what you learned in environmental science, some things you might have learned a little bit about in middle school, and we're going to expand even more when you get to 10th grade. Um, so looking forward to teaching you guys some biology. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Miss Roof. I'm one of the chemistry teachers here at Dobbins. Um, this Next year will be my second year uh, teaching at Dobbins. And Ms. Castorino unfortunately couldn't be here with us today, um, but she is one of our other chemistry teachers. Um, she says hi. All right, so what is chemistry? So Ms. Ronick explained a little bit about biology. And from biology, in 11th grade, we're gonna zoom in. We're going from cells and DNA down to molecules and atoms. So chemistry formally is the science of the composition, structure, properties, and reactions of matter, which is anything that has mass and takes up space. So in chemistry, we'll do experiments, we'll examine chemical reactions, and look at how chemistry touches every area of our lives. Um, the medicines we take, food we eat, clothes we wear, all of these materials and other things in our lives are in some way or another a product of chemistry and chemistry is involved there. So excited to meet everybody and looking forward to teaching you chemistry so in a few years. Any classroom or schools, we have expectations. And I 
number one expectation is that you show your Mustang pride, personal responsibility and daily effort. And effort looks like when you don't get it, raising your hand and letting your teacher know, or being a little bit more attentive when you really um, are into a subject or don't understand the subject. So we ask that you always put forth your Mustang pride, be on time to class, and be on task. Um, those two things will definitely help improve your grades or help you uh, exceed in the subject. Be an active learner, ask questions, and participate. That is what all teachers love, and especially coming off of last year, we really, really like when you ask questions and participate. Um, be respectful to yourself and others. If you are doing all of these things, you will exceed our expectations as a new Mustang to Dobbins. So when you come to science class, there's certain materials that we'd like you to have so that you can be successful. These include a pen or pencil, something to write with, some paper, something to write on. Usually it's nice if the paper is detachable from your notebook so you can turn it in. You should bring a Chromebook or a laptop. You know, when we begin to this post COVID world where we're going to be doing things more on the computers and more virtually than we have in the past. So bring a computer with you, bring a positive attitude, a can do attitude and bring a growth mindset. It's important that you have a growth mindset that if you keep trying, you can get it eventually. So on behalf of the whole science department here, uh, I'd like to say we can't wait to see you guys in September, class of 2025. And we hope you've enjoyed our little video. Bye. 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 You will be mine. You will, you will. Even if it's somebody else's. Good night for long. Right, right. Good night for long. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Good morning, class of 2025. My name is Joseph DeAndre. I'm the special ed director here at Dobbins. Uh, my office is on the sixth floor next to Miss Thompson. We're located right next to the cafeteria. So if you ever have any questions, please feel free to stop in and say hi. Uh, Miss Isis and Miss Medley, they are my special ed assistants here at Dobbins. They'll be in your classes uh, during your ninth grade year. Um, they'll be helping you with your academics or any work that you might have. Um, so feel free to stop in, say hi. Their office is also mine as well. Um, and that's really it. All right. The only thing that might come a close second to science is math. And these are some good people. Enjoy their presentation. Hi, I'm Miss Raskin. Woo! Hey, I'm Mr. George. Welcome to Dobbins. Hey, I'm Mr. Colton. Hey, I'm Mrs. Plaza. Welcome to Davis, I'm from Miss Naomi. Hey, I'm Miss Miller.
for the math department. We can't wait to see you in the fall. But until then, go, go Mustang! Without without English teachers, we probably would not be able to read. So thank you, English teachers, for making us wonderful readers and writers. And here is the English department. Dobbins English Department. In order to graduate from Dobbins, you will need to earn four credits of English. Ninth grade English 1. What will I do in English class? Find your writing voice. Refine your literature skills by reading, analyzing, and writing about nonfiction and fiction. You will read Romeo and Juliet, a freshman rite of passage into the world of Shakespeare. You will write your first high school research paper, learn about Dobbins shops and go through the shop selection process, and write a resume and cover letter. Now it's time to meet the English teachers at Dobbins. Dobbins. You might be asking why I love teaching English. Well, it, I love teaching both reading and writing, but especially writing and especially creative writing. Plays, short stories, poems. I love it all. Greetings and welcome new Dobbins freshmen. My name is Mr. Daniels. I'm an English 1 teacher, so I only teach ninth grade. This is my fifth year at Dobbins, but hopefully soon We'll be able to be in the building again. It's a great building, it's huge, especially once you get to 10th grade, you get to see all the shops. So let's hope we can do that again soon. And today I'm wearing in honor of you guys, my very own freshman Dobbins Mustangs shirt, which you guys will get when you get to start in-person classes at Dobbins. So welcome, don't get too overwhelmed. It's gonna be a great year. Hey, I'm Miss Frost and I teach English one here at Dobbins. One of my favorite things about teaching English is helping students find their voice on the page and on the stage. Oh, hey. My name's Mr. Mocha, and I teach freshman English. My pronouns are he, him, and his. My least favorite thing about being an English teacher is that there's so much to read and not enough time to read it. But my favorite thing about being an English teacher is when y'all help me choose what we're reading next. Then you form arguments, you make claims, you back up your reasoning and perspective with evidence and proof. It's not fun when we all agree, it's way more fun when we can have a friendly debate. Can't wait to meet you all. What's up guys, my name is Mr. Brown, I'm an English teacher here at Dobbins, and my favorite part about teaching English is helping kids discover new passions through reading. Looking forward to meeting all you guys in the fall. Hi everyone. My name is Mix Shepherd. My pronouns are they, them, and I teach 10th grade English. I'm also the facilitator, one of the facilitators of the Animation and Comic Association, where we discuss and watch all things anime and comic books. I'm a former uh, facilitator for the GSA, our school's LGBTQ club, and I can't wait to meet you all in 10th grade. My name is Mr. Monahan, and I get to be you, one of your English teachers this year. So I'll be teaching English one. Um, I'm really, really excited to learn all about you guys and your lives so that we can sort of study what's happening in the world today and even better, link it to things that happened in the past to try to create these theories about what our life is going to be like in the future. Anyway, let's grab a book or two or three and let's get to it. Have a great day. Hello, students. Welcome to Dobbins. My name is Mrs. Mannings and I am an English teacher in the 11th and 12th grade classrooms. And we have a banging English department, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. But my favorite thing that I like about being an English teacher is learning about my students through their writings, class discussions, and presentations. So I hope you like doing those things because you should be an expert at those things by the time you get to 11th and 12th grade. So wishing you well and see you in 11th 
in 12th grade. Hello and welcome to Dobbins. My name is Ms. Providence and I am the English 4 teacher. My favorite thing about teaching English is the way that the students and I interact with each other no matter what the course content is. There's always so much that we can learn as a teacher and as a student. And I just love the chemistry and the way we collaborate and work together. Can't wait to see you. Hi everyone, I'm Ms. Castorino. Uh, I am the athletic director here at Dobbins and we have a little video for you. I did just wanna point out before we start the video, my email address is right here on the screen. So if anyone ever needs to reach out to me, if you have questions, if you want our physical form so you can hit the ground running in August, feel free to send me an email with all your questions. Yo, that was tight. All right. Uh, so thank you, Ms. Castorino, for that. Now up is foreign language. Hola, como esta? Bienvenidos al Departamento de Español. I'm Profe Tolman. Me llamo Senora Atkins. And we are thrilled to have you here at Dobbins. Here is one of your classrooms that you'll be in. I think we're going to do a lot of great work in here. It's going to be a lot of fun. Have a wonderful summer, and we'll see you in September. Can't wait to meet you. Adios. Adios. Hola, estudiantes, y bienvenidos a Morel Dobbins. Me llamo Señor de Virgilis. You can call me Mr. D. I'm one of the Spanish teachers here at Dobbins, and I'm so excited to welcome you all to our amazing school right here in North Philadelphia. Adios y nos vemos pronto. Hola. Hola, yo soy el señor Chang. Y yo soy el señor Flynn. We're Spanish teachers here at Dobbins, and we're really excited to have you here in August. Hopefully, we'll be able to meet you in classrooms like these and we'll be able to start learning Spanish and about the different cultures of the many countries that speak this beautiful language. So are you guys ready to work hard and learn a second language? Or maybe even a third language? We are confident you really are. We'll see you in August. Ciao. And here are our wonderful history teachers. You have to know where you started to know where you're going. Hello, incoming freshmen. Welcome to Dobbins. Uh, my name is Mr. Kravitsky. If you get me as your teacher, you might also call me Mr. Roman, but if you see me on your role, I'm Mr. Kravitsky. This is the social studies department. It is one of your main courses here at Dobbins. And today, you're gonna meet all the social studies teachers at Dobbins and learn a little bit about what to expect in your Dobbins education in this subject. So in high school, um, you will have four years of social studies and there every single year will be a different topic. Ninth grade, all of you guys will be doing world history 
And as you move forward, you will go to African American history. Then in your junior year, you have US history. And then in your senior year, you have civics and economics. And as you see on the bottom there, all four are required for graduation. Um, so make sure you treat these subjects seriously and that you get all the learning that you can out of it. So next year, you guys are in world history. And something to know about world history is that it's going to be in a block schedule. In fact, I think all of your classes next year are going to be block schedules, which means you won't be in every class every single day. So you might have an A day with certain courses, a B day with other classes, and every single day it will be an hour and a half long. Um, your attendance and participation matters, being on time, participating, engaging, all the things that I'm sure your middle school teachers have been telling you also apply in high school. And since we've all been virtual, we haven't really been thinking about phones so much, but something to know that once you come to Dobbins and once you are in your world history classes, the phones need to be put away. Um, they're gonna affect your participation grade and just your overall engagement with the course. What to expect in the class. So on the screen, you can see some of the topics that we will be discussing. Some of them are gonna be building in the knowledge that you guys have in middle school, um, but we're really gonna be focusing on skills. I mean, obviously we want you to learn about the world, but I personally, you know, don't really uh, care so much about memorization as, a much, as much as I want you guys to actually learn skills that you can apply in other courses and in the rest of your lives. So interpreting documents, analyzing maps, analyzing charts, you know, actually using some of the evidence and using the information that's provided to you when you're responding, not just saying, I think, or I, I guess, but actually learning how to piece together some of the information that you are seeing in your response when you are in your courses. Um, so those are some of the things that you will see. Um, so now I'm gonna introduce all of the social studies teachers at Dobbins. Like I said, I'm Mr. Kravitsky. This is my third year at Dobbins, but we have lots of different teachers who have different experience and different backgrounds. So here we go. Um, so the first teacher that you're gonna meet is Mr. Chermel. Hi, everybody. My name is Mr. Chermel. I am a world history teacher at Dobbins High School, like Mr. Kravitsky. Um, so I've been asked to say a couple words about uh, world history and social studies. So here we go. Uh, social studies is important uh, as a subject because it's important to identify patterns in history. Uh, understanding the past helps us understand the present and the future. Uh, when you come to Dobbins, um, you should be ready to advocate for yourself, which means to um, you know, ask for things that you need, um, talk to your teachers if you're having trouble, uh, that kind of thing. And be ready to think and think critically. So what that means is to be ready to look at things and analyze it with a, a, a magnifying glass and see what it's all about. Okay? So I really look forward to meeting you. I think you're going to really enjoy Dobbins. And I'll see you in uh, August or September, whenever school starts. Cool. Thank you, Mr. Tramel. Dr. Macon. Hello, everyone. Welcome, class of 2025. Uh, my name is Dr. Macon, and I'm also one of the social studies teachers here at Dobbins. I teach ninth grade world history and 10th grade African American history. I've been teaching off and on in the school district for over 26 years, and I can't believe it. But one of the things I'm very happy about is not only have I been teaching off and on that long in the district, I am also a proud alumni of Dobbins High School. Yay. And in four years, you're going to be an alumni too. So I actually graduated from Dobbins in 1991, long before any of you guys were born. But now I'm teaching history. So just as um, some of my other colleagues have said, we're going to learn a lot about history. Um, and I do believe that um, when we know where we come from, we can make better decisions about where we go. So that is the emphasis that I'm going to have in everything that we learn about history in my class. We're going to use other choices people have made to chart out uh, a plan for our future success. 
All right. So one thing I can give you um, in terms of advice for high school, and I'm doing this based on my own niece who I talked to uh, earlier uh, uh, this week, um, and she actually is finishing her ninth grade year right now in the pandemic, just like you guys are finishing your eighth grade year. Um, and she said one thing I thought was very important. She told me to let you guys know that high school is not as scary as you think. And so I want you to know that not only myself um, as a, a, a social studies teacher here, but our whole department is here to support you in your studies in high school. So all of the advice is good, but I need you to know that you can make it and we're going to do it together. So I can't wait to meet you and see you when we do start uh, the new school year sometime in September of this year. You guys take care until we meet. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Macon. Mr. Wilson, you're up. Hi, all. Just want to introduce myself. I'm Mr. Wilson. I teach U.S. history and African American history, so 10th and 11th grade, you may have me. Um, I want to congratulate you on choosing Dobbins and welcome you to the school that you'll be at for the next four years. Um, I'm excited to have you in history class where we can really dig into critical thinking, explore the past, understand the present as well as possible. Um, and as Dr. Macon said, see where we're going. Um, the critical thinking, the uh, examination of how to articulate our ideas and be confident in our ideas, improve our reading, find good information and write better are all things that you're gonna develop while you're in history at Dobbins. And I look forward to seeing you all. Awesome, Brother John. Yes, yes. All right. Greetings, everybody. Uh, Hotep, assalamu alaikum, shalom, peace to everybody. Uh, fresh men, fresh women, fresh people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, glad to welcome you, at Do welcome you to Dobbins. Uh, my name is Brother John, Brother John Winters, and uh, I've been teaching for uh, been teaching for a healthy amount of time, healthy amount of years, uh, both in New York and here in Philly. Um, I've been happy to be at Dobbins here for just a few years. By the time we uh, by, by next year, it'll be year three at Dobbins, and I teach African history at Dobbins High School. So uh, I'm definitely looking forward to a chance to learn together and build together. I uh, definitely welcome everybody. The um, A few things, social studies, so I've, I've heard students in the past write social studies office. Sometimes people say it's boring, you know, it's a, it's a collection of dates and facts and random people and whatnot, but that's not at all what history is. Uh, we definitely welcome you to a brand new perspective and uh, experience in studying history and social studies. Uh, as, as some teachers have shared formally, uh, social studies is our chance to really look at the past so that we understand society now. Anything that you want to make sense of, if you want to understand why something is the so-called good, the so-called bad, we look to the past, uh, whether that be yesterday, whether that be five years ago or a thousand years ago, but we look to the past to understand today. Uh, and once we understand today, we can better build our future, the future that we desire and that we vision. So uh, definitely welcome you to a new experience. Uh, welcome you to high school, uh, specifically for African history. Uh, it's a great time to build together. I always say that after, uh, after 10 years of high school, it's finally a chance that we can, a long overdue chance, that we can really study some knowledge itself and really get into uh, studying both uh, African history and African culture. Uh, throughout the entire diaspora. Uh, so it's a, a collective history and uh, uh, we may, we'll make it an enjoyable, enriching, and, and most importantly, meaningful experience together. Uh, one tip or one advice, I always say that to, to scholars and I practice it myself, uh, it goes uh, in school and outside of school. Uh, we get out what we put in, whether it's our studies, our relationships, uh, uh, our workout plans, anything we're doing in life, we're gonna get out what we put in. So I definitely encourage everybody show up day one at Dobbins High School, high school career, um, show, up, show up with a positive mindset, uh, ready to be organized, ready to be consistent, uh, ready to put in the work and also achieve great results. Uh, I'll leave everybody with a uh, quote from brother Malcolm X. Uh, he says that, uh, and I definitely agree, 
of all our studies, it is history that is best qualified to reward our research. So I'm definitely biased coming from the history department. I'm uh, looking forward to working with all our future historians and uh, peace and love to everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. And making me want to be a student of Dobbins again. Wow. All right. Next up, we have Miss Minnelli. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Dobbins. My name is Miss Munnelly, and I teach 11th graders in US history. Um, much like all of your other future teachers have said before me, I think that history is really important um, because it helps us inform ourselves about the past so that we can be better informed in the present moment and really understand and analyze how we've gotten to this point. Um, and it will also better inform us as we move forward and go into the future. Something that I think is really important that students have um, as an attitude, as a mindset, is to be curious, right? To and to really critically think about, especially in US history, um, the events in our past that have impacted the way our society is today. Um, very exciting to have you all coming in here next year. Um, hope you have a great summer and we will all see you back here in August and September. Awesome. And last but not least, Mr. Kokotis. Hi, how's everyone doing today? My name is Mr. Kokotis. I teach civics and economics at uh, Dobbins. I've been here for a little over three years. I've been in a district for over a decade. I'm the head wrestling coach. I'm very excited to meet you when you are finally in the building. Uh, one of the most important things about uh, civics and economics is basically learning your voting rights, why it's important to vote. And uh, this is the third year that we've um, been doing the Governor's Civic Engagement Award, and we have over 85% of our seniors signed up to vote. It's very important, and once you get to me as a senior, you will figure out and find out why that's important. Uh, hope everyone has a nice summer. I will see you. Awesome. Thank you so much, everybody. I don't know if you can feel the energy. I can feel the energy. I'm ready to start. I'm ready to start uh, the fall right now um, because we have so many great educators here at Dobbins. We're so excited to have you. Um, so we'll see you in the fall. Have a great summer. Um, come with an open mind. Come ready to learn. And we'll see you in the fall. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ms. Allen. I'm the College and Workforce Coordinator and Site Director at Dobbins High School. I look forward to meeting you all, engaging you in rich after school programming, as well as assisting you in, in taking advantage of all of the unique um, experiences that Dobbins has to offer. See you in the fall. I'm sorry, I'm not sure if you heard me, but good morning once again, class of 2025. My name is Mr. Charles Reyes from the Mayor's Office of Children's and Families, formerly the Mayor's Office of Education. As Dobbins, being a community school, uh, one of Mayor Kenny's uh, three initiatives that he ran on, as a community school, Dobbins, as you can see in the background, uh, the community where we come together, we offer uh, different opportunities for our students through partnerships created uh, through the city, through various community organizations, colleges, so on and so forth. It's the opportunity where we're building a bridge from the school, from the inside out, from the school to the community, making that connection and also honing in on the community within the walls of Dobbins for the students in terms of preparing them for real life situations, college, colleges, and so on and so forth through a co collaborative leadership where we work with not only outside partners, but internal partners as well. Partners as like ODAT, partners like uh, Youth Pride Services, partners like our social worker where we come together at times when we find resources 
not only for the student, but also for the families if it's needed. Um, so the idea of being a community school, we begin to focus on fun things as well. We, 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 uh, we have a community dinner that we uh, prepare for every Thanksgiving, which is always the Friday before Thanksgiving, where our culinary program, our, our barbering, barbering program, our uh, graphic arts program, all the CTE programs come together to have a culmin culminating event such as the community uh, dinner. And we have been serving over 600 people for the last five to six years. And it's been a great success. We do other community engagements like our summer send off where we just focus on that time during move up day uh, prior to our final uh, testing of the year. And the school just come together and we have a huge block party. It's a celebration of working hard um, kind of like taking a Wu-Tai moment where the staff, the students come together as one and we just enjoy each other, enjoy the uh, uh, good times after working so hard and preparing for the summer. And we have deemed that the summer send off. We also do a uh, Dobbins Fresh Fall where we offer fresh foods and, and produce every Wednesday outside of the school, not only for community, but for our students and families as well. There's a host of things that go on at Dobbins Community School. As I said before, partnerships with the, uh, the city, partnerships with, with unions, partnership with other partnerships with schools and universities that will just create different opportunities for our students, our Mustangs. And uh, this is just a, a great opportunity as we welcome you guys in class of 2025, myself as many of other uh, alumni that you've seen Ms. Macon, Ms. Make, uh, Ms. Corinne Macon, class of 91, so on and so forth. I'm also alumni from the class of 93. So Dobbins is the place to be. We welcome you class of 2025. We look forward to seeing you in this coming fall. So class of 2025, I just wanted to remind everyone that uh, prizes is, are available to you for you to win our Mustang swag only if you complete the survey, the Google form that was dropped in the YouTube chat link. And it has to be submitted by today at 2.34. So make sure that any questions that you have, please make sure you drop them in the link so that they can be answered uh, as we are on live stream. But again, we are available for you. Uh, if you visit our school website, if you uh, email us, you can call the school, we are there. Next slide. So this is going to conclude our special time together. Uh, we hope that we expose you to all of the essentials of starting high school, as well as answering all of your questions. And we hope that you are leaving excited about being a Mustang. I am your assistant principal, Ms. Thompson, and I look forward to meeting you this fall. And again, if you have any questions or concerns, we are here for you.